Hello everybody, long time no see. Today's video is going to be about Fenty Beauty. Two incidents revolving around Fenty Beauty happened around the same time and I'm going to be covering them in the very same video, so let's get into it. The first incident being Rihanna, whose real name is Robin Rihanna Fenty, suing her father, whose name is Ronald Fenty. The second incident being the third party company that Fenty Beauty hires to scan their social media for potential copyright violations. Unfortunately, a popular makeup page from Germany that posts news, teasers, and swatches, etc, etc, had several Fenty Beauty related posts pulled due to copyright violations and thus their account was terminated at 102,000 followers. While I'm on the topic of Makeup Hunters news, let's talk more about their incident that happened to them last week. After Maja, who admins the Makeup Hunters news page, learned that her page was terminated due to the copyright violation, she created a new Instagram named Makeup Hunters News 1. I'll leave that Instagram link down below so you can go follow them and keep up with the news. Anyway, on this new Instagram, she made several posts explaining what happened, and here's some of the posts and what she wrote about the situation. Part 1, please help bring back Makeup Hunters News. Disclaimer, please do not try to report this post or my page, if something happens to this account, there are many other accounts that will post about what happened to me. My account slash post was reported several times by a Fenty Beauty third party M. Holmes at Sideman.com. And as a result, I lost my account and 102,000 plus followers one day after my birthday, which was January 8th. I am posting this because I want my account back, nothing more and nothing less. No hate on Fenty Beauty or the third party that reported me without legitimate cause. I will post the images later. I put a lot of time and effort into my page and earned my 102,000 following and I believe I deserve it back. The reported Fenty Face photos were not leaked or anything originated from my account. I reposted what was widely shared across Instagram or posted by Fenty. These posts generated free press for Fenty Beauty by Rihanna and did not cause them to lose any sales, so to penalize me for posting product photos is wrong in my opinion. Large beauty news accounts now no longer post about Fenty or deleted their pics due to fear of losing their accounts as well. Fenty should rectify this by reinstating my account and working with, rather than against, beauty news blogs in order to promote their releases. My phone and iPad are now locked out of Instagram entirely. All my accounts are shadow banned so I must use this one. I've waited three days for this situation to resolve itself but I cannot wait any longer. I was giving free promotion to Fenty. I am not an affiliate and I I make no money off my Fenty posts from them or third parties, will not lose my page over something that I receive no monetary gain from. And so I am asking that Fenty, LVMH, Kendo, Sideman, and Bancroft, anyone please rescind the reports and reinstate my account. Please tag Fenty, LVMH, Fenty Corp, or your friends, or share this post. Hashtag bring back makeup hunters. Now in case you're watching this and not listening to this video in the background, you'll notice that I blacked out a bunch of photos and because of what Fenty did to Makeup Hunters News, I don't want them to turn around and do it to me and strike my video. Because it seems like lately people are awfully happy to copyright strike videos and have Instagram makeup news pages shut down. Now that that's out of the way, this is a brand new post from Makeup Hunters News and the post reads, The Real Tea, be careful if you share Fenty Beauty pics, here's the real tea, the content violates their trademark rights and copyrights. My page is gone because of this post. I made free marketing for them and a third party reported six to eight pics. My page is gone in seconds, one day after my birthday. And then Maja, who is the admin of the Makeup Hunters news page, copy and pasted the original description for this post. I'm not going to read it all out loud, so you can press pause to read because I'm going to continue on and read what she wrote in this new post description. After that copied and pasted description, she continued on and said, Just outrageous that I have to deal with it and must starting drama and make it official to get my page back. I hope LVMH, Fenty Beauty, Fenty Corp DM me in the next time. I don't want a big drama. The content is from Fenty and other official pages should have never been removed. This is legit not fair and it looks like an automatic report from M. Holmes at Sideman.com. Please tag your friends Fenty Corp, Fenty Beauty, LVMH, Priscilla Ono in this post. 
This is the last post that I'm going to read as there are several more posts like this on her page and you can go check it out. As I said, I will link the page down below. Anyway, in this post, she posted a screenshot of a tweet that she sent out from her personal Twitter account and said, this incompetent, unprofessional at Sideman Bancroft Law Agency reports all my Fenty Beauty posts. My Instagram Makeup Hunters News 102,000 has been disabled because of false copyright trademark right reports. Please help. At Instagram at Fenty Fenty Beauty, hashtag bring back makeup haunters. Now in this post, she wrote another rather lengthy description and I'll read that out loud and it says, Go check my Twitter makeup hunters news Maja Love Pigment I named on my old press pigment shop. Please were posted on Twitter. My posts were reported by mistake. ID based or because incompetent people. These people have ripped out a part of my life. Makeup Hunters News. Please repost my tweets. The reported content didn't violate Fenty Beauty copyright or trademark rights. I contacted the reporter four times after the first deleted Fenty Beauty posts. Instagram said before you submit a report of copyright trademark infringement, you may want to send a message to the person who posted the content. You may be able to resolve the issue without contacting Instagram. Remember, only the copyright owner or their authorized representative may file a report of copyright infringement. No one informed me before. I don't know what they want. Hashtag bring back makeup hunters. Now, if you love your beauty news makeup pages like I do, there's another page called Beauty Deals BFF where they post a bunch of sale items and how to get good deals. Their page was pulled three times because of Beauty Blender's third-party company, and I bring that up because the situation is very similar to that situation. Basically, the owner of that page posted a bunch of Beauty Blender stuff, and Beauty Blender's third-party company had their page suspended, and when their page was suspended the first time, Beauty Blender apologized and sent the admin a big PR package. However, it's happened twice since then, but every time they got their page back, I do hope Beauty News BFF and Makeup Hunters News are in contact because I do think Beauty News BFF can help Makeup Hunters News get her page back. And also, I hope that not only does Makeup Hunter News get her page back, but I also hope Fenty thinks about hiring a better third-party company to scan their social media for possible copyright violations. Maybe they should have people be able to differentiate between promotional posts and copyright violation posts or spoiler leaks that are not supposed to be on social media just yet because the brand didn't post them. I mean, I don't think Makeup Hunters News or Beauty Deals BFF or the other beauty news pages are doing anything wrong. They're just informing the audience and beauty fanatics of product releases that are coming out. Anyway, moving on to the lawsuit that Rihanna filed against her father. On January 15th of this year, Rihanna filed a lawsuit against her father, Ronald Fenty. She filed this lawsuit because her dad and his business, Fenty Entertainment, and his partner misusing her name. Rihanna had the Fenty name trademarked in 2014, whereas this company that her father has, called Fenty Entertainment, has only been around since 2016 to 2017. Now, I didn't know the ins and outs of this lawsuit and why it came to be until Zadi Doll tagged me in this. At first I thought it was just Rihanna being petty and suing her dad over their last name so I responded to Zadi doll and I said something like this. I was like well you know maybe Rihanna should just sue everyone with the last name Fenty. But upon looking into it more it's a lot deeper than that and it's pretty fucked up the more I read about it. Because the way I look at it after looking into all of this is that the father must have had to fuck up pretty bad for the daughter to want to sue him. So this business called Fenty Entertainment where her father owns the business with his business partner Moses Perkins. More about the nature of this lawsuit, it's because they falsely claim affiliation with Fenty Beauty when that is not the case. They were apparently booking shows for Rihanna against her knowledge and she didn't know about that. But anyway, a little bit more about this Fenty Entertainment company as per their website. Now there is nothing on their website except for the press release statement and this is what it says. Ronald Fenty starts new entertainment company, Hollywood, California. 
Fenty Entertainment is a groundbreaking entertainment company focusing on cultivating new talent and developing TV and media platforms for promoting brand development. Fenty Entertainment will integrate artistic talent together with digital and mobile applications to create a bridge in which online celebrities can bring their musical talents into mainstream culture. Our focus is on developing original television programs, motion pictures, live concerts, and record producing as well as talent. Ronald Fenty will provide the creative force and lead all aspects of artistic development. He is building Fenty Entertainment with the idea of giving back to the youth of today. About Fenty Entertainment, we are a full-fledged production and talent development company that utilizes today's most cutting-edge digital technologies to create customized user experiences between talent and the fans. Fenty Entertainment is a developing and interactive television program and mobile application that will create a bridge in which online celebrities can bring their musical talents in the mainstream culture. Our mission is to encourage today's artistic youth and provide exposure and experience needed to be successful in the music industry. Fenty Entertainment wants free-thinking individuals who are creative in every aspect, not just musically, but also innovative in how they promote themselves and build their brand. Our philosophy is let no talent be wasted. We welcome the entire world to submit their music, performances, and videos for recognition. Due to the fact that I did not renew my Pacer Monitor membership this month, I do not have the complaint in front of me. However, I did find a Rolling Stone article that did a pretty good job describing the nature of the lawsuit. I'm going to read portions of the article that I cropped out that pertain to the lawsuit only. This first portion reads, Per the lawsuit, Fenty and Perkins have egregiously and fraudulently misrepresented to third parties and public that their company is affiliated with Rihanna and has the authority to act on her behalf. Mr. Fenty and Mr. Perkins have used these lies in a fraudulent effort to solicit millions of dollars from unsuspecting third parties in exchange for the false promise that they were authorized to act on Rihanna's behalf and or Rihanna would perform at various locations throughout the world. The next portion of the article pertaining to the lawsuit reads, According to the suit, Fenty Entertainment reportedly tried to book numerous concerts for Rihanna without her authorization. These included a 15-show tour in Latin America that would have been worth $15 million, as well as a 15-minute set at the Staples Center in Los Angeles and the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, totaling $400,000. According to the lawsuit, Ronald Fenty also claimed that he ran these business ventures with Rihanna his label, Rock Nation. However, the singer alleged that no one at Rock Nation knew anything about what Fenty was doing. Furthermore, the suit alleges that Ronald Fenty was trying to profit off the Fenty trademark, which Rihanna already owns, and has used for various ventures, including her cosmetics line, Fenty Beauty. Along with starting Fenty Entertainment, the suit claims that Ronald Fenty previously tried to file his own trademark for Fenty, which he planned to use for a chain of boutique hotels, the U.S. Patent and Trademark office denied the request. Here's where it gets even more fucked up because in 2011 there was an article published on Vogue.com about Rihanna where she discussed her father's betrayal and a bunch of other things. The article was titled Rihanna Discusses Father's Betrayal, Pressures of Being a Role Model. Now just like the Vogue article, I only cropped out a portion of the article that pertained to her father so I'm going to read those portions now and those portions read Rihanna is the cover girl for the April issue of Vogue magazine and the R&B singer discusses her father's continuous betrayal, accepting her voluptuous body and the pressures of being a role model among other topics. On her father, Ronald Fenty, turning his back on her for cash. It really makes me question what I have become to my father. Like, what do I even mean to him? It's really strange. That's the only word I can think of to describe it because you grow up with your father, you know him, you're a part of him, and for goodness sakes. And then he does something so so bizarre that I can't even begin to wrap my mind around it. You hear the horror stories about people going behind people's backs and doing strange things, but you always think, not my family, my father would never do that to me. And then Rihanna added and said this was the first time my dad went to the press, just told him a bunch of lies. Because he hadn't talked to me earlier, that whole thing, he never called me to find out how I was doing, if I was alive, nothing. He just never called, he went straight to the press and got a check and now he does it again. Sounds like 
things never really changed, and from what I understand, Rihanna did serve him several cease and desist, all of which he ignored. So it looks like the lawsuit is happening, and I'm interested to find the outcome, and I will be following this very closely, and I will definitely keep you all updated on all of this. You have to be a real fucking piece of shit to do that to your daughter. I mean, she's your daughter, you're supposed to love her and view her as family, not as a fucking paycheck. I mean, yeah, on the surface, a lawsuit seems fucked up and dramatic, but as you just heard from that article that was in 2011, this is a pattern for her father and he's been doing this to her for a very long time, so I applaud Rihanna for standing up for herself and taking action against this. Because father or not, family or not, he should not be allowed to do this. Anyway, Anyway, I want to know what you all think about this lawsuit and do you think Makeup Hunters News will end up getting her page back or do you think she's going to start over again? Also another thing, there is a bit of a language barrier because like I said, the admin of that page native language is German. So if any of you who are watching my video and your native language is German or you just know German in general and you know about how to get her page back, could you please message her and help her out? Because she needs all the help that she can get and she deserves to have her page back because she was providing a very good service and she wasn't doing anything wrong. As always, let me know what you think of all this down below and thank you for watching.